Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today is a special day. It is July 12th and that means it is my YouTube anniversary. And right now we just completed two full years of YouTube. So wanted to make a special video for you guys. Um, going to do something a little different. I don't want to talk about the, the good stuff that we've done. We're going to talk about the mistakes we've made. Some bad stuff, some mess ups, some, uh, some things you guys called me out on. So, all right, let's get into this. Yeesh. Shut up, bird. Shut up, bird. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. We're going back 16 years to my very first Jeep mistake. What I did was I scrapped my very first XJ, the first XJ that I ever owned, 1988 Jeep XJ Limited, and it was a piece of crap. I got it in rough shape, barely maintained it. It got me from point A to point B, but it was a real clunker. So rather than parting it out or selling it to somebody, I watched it get crushed. And oh, knowing what I know now about Jeeps and uh, how much I love them now, I wish I never did that. Oh, it hurts me. It hurts me knowing that I crushed an 88 XJ Limited. Ugh. So that sucks. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to swallow. I don't like it, but this is what motivates me now to restore and build XJs. They're getting harder and harder to find in nice condition. So um, I will never do that again. I promise you guys, even though I did scrap a ZJ recently, uh, I just want to let you know that that body was bashed really good. I sold a door from that and I feel terrible. It looked good and when the guy got it home and popped off the uh, the plastic cladding, it revealed some pretty significant damage on that door. And I sold this guy a, a crap part and it's terrible. So there was damage all over that body. The one thing that I should have taken off and I'll give it to you guys, you called me out on it, um, the lift gate. And I was gonna junk it because it was all rusted and crumbling underneath. But now uh, <laughs> I got a, a project for a lift gate and I had to get myself another one and I had scrapped one. So even though I got that one for free, the one I scrapped was dent free. And even though it had rust, I wasn't gonna use that rusty part anyway. I'm gonna chop it up. So ugh, there's always a battle with sending things to the crusher and the scrapper because yes, they can be useful, but what are you gonna do? Wait around with parts piling up like that for four years until you might need it? Sometimes you gotta draw the line. Sometimes you gotta crush things, get your uh, couple cents for uh, for the pound of steel or whatever it's worth. Get things out of your way. I get it. I get it. There you go. That's another one you guys hated. That was a 2001 XJ Sport going to the Crusher. Actually, it was going to Tony first so he could take the firewall and the nose piece. He was converting his Comanche to a 9701 style. Um, what you guys may not have known about that, that XJ, my brother says it was cursed. He had three motor vehicle accidents in the two years he owned it. All not his fault. There was so many patch panels on that car, so much Bondo. Uh, it was freshly painted, so it looked good. That's why you guys were screaming when I uh, had that sent out. But um, actually, it was in a lot worse shape than you thought, and the body was crippled from the last accident it was in, and that's why I cut it out. I think I see a creeper there. <laughs> All right, guys, the next bunch of mistakes can all be found right in this general area of Black Beauty. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is this stuff. Can you guys see all that uh, rusted uh, hardware up in there? Yeah. So when I was doing my hardware refresh video, um, I put the hardware in the vinegar, the vinegar bath that breaks up a lot of the uh, dirt and grime, gets some rust off. Then I throw my hardware in the tumbler and it tumbles the hardware so it looks almost brand new. All right, check this out, guys. These are looking amazing. You can't beat this. Look at this thing. It looks brand new. Sometimes I'll seal them like this, or sometimes I'll paint them, like you saw in the radiator rebuild. But either way, they always get vinegared and they always get tumbled. Then what I did was I soaked it in uh, oil. Um, the oil, it's penetrating oil, and it's supposed to seal the hardware. Well, it doesn't really work too good when you're out in the salty northeast. So um, a lot of that hardware rusted, as you can see. 
Now I don't always do that process. Um, most of the time I'll finish it up with some paint. Check out the fasteners I cleaned up and painted. Now all these went in the tumbler and then I hit them with some brake clean to get any oils off and painted them up. It came out really nice. From now on I'm going to be tumbling the bolts and then putting pour 15 on them. Here's all the other parts. Pour 15. Nice and dry, nice and cured. That seems the best way to go because all that hard work I did looking rusty. So I don't like that. I wish I did it differently. Um, mistake? Yeah, maybe. Next time I'll paint it. Next thing I want to talk about, <laughs> Black Beauty. Uh, this was a big one. Big mistake. I think there's been a mistake. Did you say steak? No, mistake. Big mistake, and I'm really sorry, guys. I should have corrected it. I don't know how, but I made a road trip video, and um, I showed you guys me checking the transmission fluid with the vehicle off. Big mistake. All right, nice and warm. Gonna check the trans fluid. So when you wipe it down, you want to make sure it's nice and pink like that. Everybody knows you check your transmission fluid with the vehicle on and neutral, and I know that, and I don't know why I didn't do it. I think I just had a brain fart. I made a mistake. Um, sorry guys, what I wish I could tell you is that I wanted to film it with the engine off so that I could speak to you clearly and edit some sound effects in at the end. Um, no, that's not the truth. <laughs> I just forgot, made a mistake. So sorry for putting out bad information. Uh, you guys called me on it and uh, I deserve that criticism. Yeah, amateur hour. So. Uh, big problem, can't do that. If you want accurate uh, transmission readings, you're gonna have to check it with your vehicle on, running, neutral, hot. Uh, I thought I redeemed myself when, uh, when I made my transmission um, video and, and uh, General Grievous, but hey, <laughs> not everybody watches every video, right? So time for the test, we'll see what my level is at. Oh yeah. So let me have it. Tell me how much I suck. <laughs> Rain it down on me. Oh, bring it on. Let it rain down on me. <laughs> okay, here's another one, guys. Uh, you can see my beautiful XJ headlights, right? Uh, when I first filmed my perfect XJ video, uh, listen, no regrets for that video. That one put me on the map. That's got uh, half a million views right now. So that is excellent. Thank you guys so much for watching that. But uh, when I filmed the video, I was digging the angry eye headlights. I thought I did something really special by painting the headlights, you know, with the angry eyes. And then I came in and I took my reflective pinstripe right here and I came through with that pinstripe and I gave it a angry eye little edge right there. I liked it, I, I enjoy it, you know, changing it up. And um, if you're gonna have vehicles like I do for 20 years, I've, I've had XJs since, gosh, 2003, two was my first XJ. So it, it's nice to change it up, but man, you guys hate, 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 hate angry eyes. I don't know. Some people love them, some people hate them. I could care less, I was trying something different, but oh man, you guys roasted me. Um, everybody wants me to put truck light LEDs in here. And yeah, I love that truck light LEDs. Um, my new Beach Jeep build might get truck light LEDs because they're great for people in warm climates. This thing I drive in the winter and on a cold snowy day, the snow will accumulate on an LED and you will lose your, uh, your headlights because the snow builds up. These are HID conversions. And uh, I have a whole video on my lighting setup and they get hot and it melts the snow and um, I don't think I'm gonna go LEDs I actually have LEDs that were sent to me by companies who wanted me to review them and these are still working so I'm not gonna change them sorry companies I appreciate the stuff always but uh, if it's not broke don't fix it so I'm not just gonna put a video out just to get a you know I don't know a product review but uh, anyway I still appreciate the headlights maybe one day I'll change them up um, I'm always ready for a change every now and then, so here we go. There's a there's a, a mistake that is corrected, I guess. And you know what? Maybe I'll put on some angry eyes in the future just to spite you guys. <laughs> spite eyes, uh, whatever. Stupid. Alright, next thing. 
All right, guys, here we go. Had to sit down for this one. Now, I wouldn't necessarily call this one a mistake. Uh, I kind of like it. I did it intentionally, but a lot of you guys out there, you absolutely hate the fact that I have 18-inch wheels on my Jeep XJ. Yeah, Black Beauty has got 2012 Dodge Challenger wheels. They are factory wheels that I put a Jeep center cap on and they're direct bolt-on. I didn't have to do a thing to it. There's no spacers, uh, there's no adapters, no nothing. This is direct bolt-on factory Dodge wheels. They're 18 inches and they fit really, really well on my XJ. Um, it goes great with this three inch Rough Country lift and um, I, I absolutely love it. Now all my modifications paired with this being a fully loaded XJ from the factory, I figured this would be one of the most unique Cherokees out there. So I'll show you all my mods, starting with these factory Dodge Challenger rims. They came off of 2012, and they're wrapped in 265, 60R18s. See, there you go. They're not low profile tires. There's actually a lot of meat on them. They are 265, 60R18, Firestone Destination, all-terrain tires. And honestly, I do more daily driving on this thing than I do off-roading. So uh, I love these tires. I don't need uh, big, fat, meaty tires to grip on rocks. That's, that's not what this vehicle is used for. This is a practical daily driver. I love driving this thing. Everything works on it. I'm not going to beat it up. So I don't know, guys. You be the judge. What do you think of these tires? Are they a mistake? <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily put these on my beach jeep build. I'm going to go with a meatier tire and a smaller rim on there. Uh, but I don't know. They're not a total abomination. Let me know what you guys think again. Is it reasonable to have 18 inch tires on a lifted XJ that is a daily driver? Let me have it. Bring it on. Huh? Big mistake. Oh. All right, here it is. Here is a huge topic that I need to talk to you guys about. Now, I haven't done it yet, but what I plan to do in the following year might be considered a huge, huge mistake. I had a dream. The dream was to build an off-road XJ on the channel for you guys, documenting everything about it. And I started off doing that, and I got derailed along the way. Had a fourth child which is no mistake at all. That is not a regret. Love my baby, got my boy. I'm so blessed. Thank you God so much for my children, but I can't fit my children in an XJ. I didn't want to abandon the project. I was thinking long and hard on how to fix the issue at hand. So um, I had an idea of making a special XJ and it's gonna involve a four door and a two door and they're both gonna be cut in half youch guys so if this project goes wrong if it's not done exactly the way I want it if it doesn't come out good at all I am risking two pretty damn good XJ's a really really good two-door with minor front-end damage that could be fixed and I have the four-door all apart you've seen Beach Jeep um, I could be ruining those two XJ's it could be a complete cluster you know what could be garbage, could be destroyed, this could be a scrap heap. And uh, I would really love this to go the way I want to. If it works out, this could be a build of a lifetime, something no one has ever done before. Um, I can't wait to show you guys my plans. Not just there yet, I still gotta work on this a little more before I actually unveil my full blueprints. So that is coming, guys. Uh, but man, this could be a huge risk. Don't want it to be a mistake, but with no risk, no reward. I think that was a mistake. <laughs> All right, I don't even know if I'm gonna cut it out. That's too real right there. No risk, no reward, right? That's what we're talking about. Um, um, spent a whole... <laughs> Blah, here we go. I'm just gonna say it, no risk, no reward. So this is happening. Uh, and if it comes out right, this is going to be, like I said, a once-in-a-lifetime, uh, one-of-a-kind Jeep XJ build that no one's ever seen before. Um, I'm going to start small. I'm going to 
get what I need to get done by uh, Paul, um, PFAB Customs. He's going to do the hard welding, uh, the hard work, and uh, I'm going to finish it off and build the rest of the vehicle by myself. So it's going to be uh, a long process, and uh, I want to take you guys along for the ride. So um, pray with me, guys. Let's hope <laughs> and pray that this build is not a mistake. No regrets, right, guys? <laughs> if I pull this off, I'm going to tattoo of my XJ build with big letters on the windshield saying no regrets, maybe right across my chest. <laughs> so I think that's it guys. That's going to wrap up my two year anniversary video. Thank you so God. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, for bearing with me for two years, putting up with all my ridiculous corny jokes, everything. Thank you guys. My, my blunders of the tongue. <laughs> um, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. So remember to like and subscribe. I will see you on the next project. I will see you in my third year. Peace. Got to be kidding me. All right. Then. Oh no! <laughs> this is terrible. You're doing great! Cheers, honey! <laughs> no! <laughs> All right. Are you serious? Freaking kidding me? Today in the project, we just scored some Jeep ZJ seats. Yes, these aren't just any ZJ seats. These are the 5.9 limited Niner seats. They're calf leather, calf skin, calf skin leather seats. Uh, you. I am not in some kind of kid's clubhouse. No, I am in the General Grievous ZJ and it is packed out full of wood because I don't have a pickup truck. So, I'm using the General. Um, it's doing all right. Well, all right guys, there you have it. more parts. Back to the garage being messy again.